Little Steps to a Bigger World. Welcome to Tippy Toes Nook. Shoo! By Susie Bauer and Francesca Grampatessa. Mrs. Golightly didn't like animals. Noisy, stinky, bothersome creatures, she said. Shoo! Then one day, a zoo moved in next door. Roar! Chatter! Howl! Growl! On Saturday night, Mrs. Go Lightly looked out of her window. All the animals were dancing round her garden. Mrs. Go Lightly shouted, Shoo! Shoo! I don't like you! Go back to the zoo! She slammed her window shut and stomped upstairs in a very bad mood. Stomp! Stamp! Stomp! On Sunday, Mrs. Goldlightly found a kangaroo on her loo. Twinkle, winkle, blop, farty poo, Mrs. Goldlightly shouted. Shoo, shoo, I don't like you. Go back to the zoo. On Monday, Mrs. Goldlightly found a giraffe in her bath. Hubble, bubble, splish, splosh. Mrs. Goldlightly shouted. Sure, sure, I don't like you. Go back to the zoo. On Tuesday, Mrs. Golightly found an alligator on her radiator. Mrs. Golightly shouted, Sure, sure, I don't like you. Go back to the zoo. On Wednesday, Mrs. Golightly found a pair of llamas in her pajamas. Dum diddly dum. Mrs. Go Lightly shouted, Shoo, shoo, I don't like you. Go back to the zoo. On Thursday, Mrs. Go Lightly found an armadillo on her pillow. Yeah. Mrs. Go Lightly shouted, Shoo, shoo, I don't like you. Go back to the zoo. On Friday, Mrs. Golightly found a polar bear in her chair, bugs under her rugs, and a jellyfish in her satellite dish. Mrs. Golightly shouted, Shoo, shoo, I don't like you. Go back to the zoo. Growl, bzz, bzz, wibble, wobble. On Friday, there were animals everywhere. There were crocs in her socks, snip snap, bats in her hats, and worst of all, ants in her pants. Itchy, screechy, scratch. Flippity flip, Mrs. Goodlightly shouted. That's it! She picked up a broom and shouted, Shoo! Shoo! I don't like you! Go back to the zoo! And she shooed all the animals out of her house. Shoo! On Saturday, Miss Goodlightly fixed bars on her windows. She fixed locks and bolts on her doors. She installed a very loud burglar alarm. Clang, clickety clack. <laughs> on Sunday, she fixed signs on her gate saying, Keep out, private property, no animals. After that, it was quiet, very quiet. 
on Monday, no kangaroo on the loo. On Tuesday, no giraffe in the bath. On Wednesday, no alligator on the radiator. On Thursday, no llamas in her pajamas. On Friday, Mrs. Goodlightly missed the crocs in her socks, the bats in her hats, the polar bear in her chair, the bugs under the rugs, the jellyfish in her satellite dish, and the armadillo on her pillow. She even missed the ants in her pants. On Saturday night, Mrs. Golightly sat all alone by her window. Then she heard all the animals dancing round her garden. What did Mrs. Golightly do? Did she shout, shoo, shoo, I don't like you, go back to the zoo. No, she put on her hat and ran out of the front door. Clap, tippity tap. Into the garden, Mrs. Golightly shouted, Hello, hello, I do like you. Can I dance too? And she pranced and danced with her new zoo friends all night long. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.